This is the part where, like, if any of my patients are listening, they're yeah. like, Dr. K cannot make up her mind about this because, like, I feel like I give a thousand different answers yes. after the transfer. Yeah. Um, so definitely the day of, I tell yeah. my patients to just go home, yeah. chill, please, like, don't do anything vigorous, yeah. you know, regardless. Um, you know, what do the studies show really? And like, what do we know about this? It probably doesn't matter for yeah. you to have intercourse after yeah. um, a transfer. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes we've been working so hard, yes. uh, right, to get yeah. you pregnant and maybe you've already had a failed transfer and we just yeah. feel like we're trying to control everything. I'm like, can you just like leave this little <laughs> embryo alone for like, just until we get your pregnancy <laughs> test, just right. don't touch it. Yes. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. so I will sometimes say just like, wait to have yeah. intercourse, but um, I think it just it honestly depends, which is yeah. not a good answer from a doctor. But, <laughs> but I mean, I'm the same. So yeah. I say no, and I'm super strict, probably mm -hmm. overly mm -hmm. strict. Now I will say if I compare myself to the really old school doctors, mm -hmm. like probably the doctors that are like in their seventies, they used to put you on bed rest for like yeah. a week after or something. Yeah. We're not like that. No, no, no. Like you can go mm -hmm. back to work the next day and everything, but I personally don't like you to have intercourse and I don't like you to do any strenuous exercise.